Hello guys, I hope you are well. It is Thursday now. I am off to just meet India. We are doing a bit of a shoot day and then today we are doing something quite fun. We are working with working with like a brand who owns like the new transformed lanes and um, we're going to be sharing with you guys a little bit of exposure of the new shops um, and yeah. I think it'll be super cute so yeah that's what we're doing today hopefully the weather is on our side i just got india some gorgeous flowers for reaching 100k and i'm in my first outfit i'm gonna leave my big suitcase in the back because we're gonna go off later and just shoot some outfits more like in hove um so, yeah, so that's the plan so i'm gonna get out of the car go and head and see india congrats on 100k <laughs> A little coffee break. Well, coffee star at Wool Fox. They have the best coffee. Yum. Weather is absolutely lovely today. It's a dream. It's a dream. It's hot. Goodness, it's hot. It's hot. Me and India are in knits and coats. We're actually kind of matching. It's quite cute. Um, but India just got these 100k balloons. It's so cute. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know who sent them. But it's so cute. So. We'll go and take pictures of you in your room tonight. <laughs> but we are. We've had our cocktail. Yeah. Oh my god. Right, we're, we've just finished shooting. We've got a bit of a, a quick turnaround. And we're going to go and go and find something to eat first. Oh my god, I'm vlogging in front of them. I don't like this. You've got it. Um, so yeah, we're starving. So we need to go and find something to eat really quickly. Quick salad. Quick salad. I'm literally sweating here. Are we going on here? Yeah. It is boiling, but I feel like it's going to get colder. It's just in the sun it's hot. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is a lovely day and the sun has come out. We actually thought it was going to be that really gloomy and rainy, but... And yeah, when it's gloomy like that and it's grey, your pics don't it. turn out. No. Nice. Lighting's not great. Just today we were lucky. Look at the clouds, they don't even look real. <gasps> it's butterfly. It's, it's a bird. Look, that's a big bird. I love doing that. that bird. <laughs> I'm so excited for eating this in the afternoon. I know. Cocktails, we're making our own lipsticks. But well, I'll take you guys with us. What? Do you know that? I'm pretty sure we've got a massage. Shut up. What, a facial? No, like a I'm not taking massage. my makeup off. I don't know. Anyway, we'll show you guys when we're there. So we're just in the lip lab. India's, have you got your lipstick on? Yes. It's so cute. My little pink lips. We're literally just making our little lipsticks here. This is India's and you've gone for like a light nudey pink, like haven't you? Nude. nude. It's gorgeous. It's actually so satisfying watching it. We've been mesmerized, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna go for, I don't know what I'm gonna go for, I think I'm gonna go for a like bit more deeper nude, I think, because that's what I usually go for, because I think that suits me skin yeah. tone. A little bit better, so yeah, I'll show you the process. All right, so this is the fiber seed, so we're gonna do exfoliation. Just go round and round on your lip. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Is it mint? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Did you ever used to get the lush sugar scrubs? Yeah. And but I always found that they dried my lips. Yeah. Out. yeah. I just ate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be at class. I'd literally be in class and we'd all be eating the sugar. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> That's Matt. Cream. All of these have avocado oil in it. Very strong and anti as well. Butter. That's lovely as well. Which one is this one? That's a vegan. That's really nice. I like the cream. I like when it's a little bit, a tiny bit like matte. <laughs> so, what colour are we going to go for you, my love? Okay, I think I'm going to go for like, I really like the colour of the third one, butter. I like the colour of the butter one, but maybe like a tiny bit darker. Or, or maybe a little me. bit redder. Like yeah, a bit, like, like a like, bit more purple -y Yeah, red. like a raspberry in it. Yeah. I mean, it's more autumnal, it's yeah. like the perfect autumnal look kind like, of thing. Yeah, like a dark nude. 
<laughs> I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> It's just a video of us two watching yeah. what's going on there. They're probably like, like thanks. <laughs> so gorgeous. So I'm going for like a more autumn-y, kind of like a bit more brownie, red, a bit of a deeper one. Because actually when I try your lipsticks, yeah. it, I'm like, oh my god. Because <laughs> we did each other's makeup once <laughs> for a video <laughs> and we looked like our own I in, because like, we do it so differently yeah. and although some we got different skin colour. Yeah, very, very interesting how that worked out. Yeah. I literally look like I had a spray tan. Yeah. And I, I look like I had a contoured face yeah. in a really bizarre way. I love this colour. And uh, I think I'd have to go a little bit lighter. A little bit more brown. New yeah. Brandy. I really like it. Oh god, I really like it. But I think I want it a little bit lighter, like a lighter and maybe, yeah, a bit more brown. Okay. What would you I love it. I love the colour. Kind of sensitive out there. No, it smells. I'm interested. I know, it's fantastic. I feel like you like the citrus one. Yeah. It smells like gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels so lovely. Yeah, they look, they're, they're really nice. That colour is nice as well, like, because what I like about it is that I like something, like I said, that you can build, like, you can keep it, yeah. like, really subtle, but yeah. then if you want to go darker, mm -hmm. just yeah. add another layer. And also day wear and evening wear with that. Yeah. 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 Nice. This colour. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> unreal. I thought you'd done this colour. Yeah, that's unreal on you. I think that's the best match that I've seen in your skin before. <laughs> <laughs> Up of it. <laughs> I'm like, Sorry, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I do that in my videos. Yeah, when I'm doing my YouTube, I'm like really focused and I'm like. Yeah. So we get, so we get too comfortable. What, what Sorry, we're at least I'm confident enough to sit up. Yeah. <laughs> Just know each other well enough. Literally. This is the colour I'm going for. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So good. Cheers, darling. Yes, great. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa. It's called the, the Copper Club. We had it. The was Copper it? Club. I think it was called Copper Club. No, it's called Clover. Clover Club. Clover. We, we had this when we had a meeting here with Nas, and it is phenomenal. So if you ever come to the Flint House, ask for the Clover Club because it is delicious. It was so good with gluten-free if you have any allergies. They have a gluten-free menu and they've literally, because they literally make everything from scratch, um, they know literally what is in each meal. So yeah, I would really recommend this place. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is my third time being here actually. Fourth Second time. for me. And it's delightful. We've had a lovely day, honestly. It's been so lovely. I've really enjoyed it. Have you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got people watching. <laughs> So this is the first one. This is the mushroom on gluten-free toast with truffle oil and a duck egg. Okay. Yeah. India and I are just posting. Dedication. <laughs> Let's go. The <laughs> rush. But we're sharing the mackerel. This is this is the mackerel with seaweed emulsion, fennel, and pomegranate salad and then we got the brock did we get the broccoli yeah where's that one? Oh yeah chopped broccoli and preserved lemon which also looks so good and it looks like it's got bits of like rice in there some almonds so guys it is saturday now i have been really bad at vlogging the last couple of days so i'm going to hopefully film a bit of content today and then I'll do some on Monday with you guys. But I've just got the Olaplex treatment in my hair. I think I did the test with you guys in my last vlog. But if you haven't seen that vlog, I will leave that vlog down below. I will show you guys how I do it. Okay, so first up is this. So this is what I have in my hair now. It's the Olaplex number zero. You literally cover your hair in this for 10 minutes and then in 10 minutes i'm going to apply the oliplex number three i have just seen such a difference in my hair and i've had a bit of a haircut because my hair is super damaged um so it needed needed a bit of tlc which is sad but um sad but it needs to be done it's not too bad it's still quite a long length but obviously you know when you get your hair cut again and it's just it's not the same is it um it feels really weird so yeah so i've got that in my hair i went for a coffee date with laurie laurie stayed over last night and then we went out for coffees which was lovely and i've just come home and now i'm gonna get ready um slowly and do some work because i have two of my best friends coming over amber and helena and we're gonna go off for brunch so that will be really nice so i'm really excited for that we're gonna go to six for bottomless brunch but we're going at like 3 p.m and then we're gonna go to libation where my cousin works and we're gonna have a couple of drinks there and yeah it'll be really nice so it's like day drinking and then we're gonna finish at like eight anyway so it's gonna be a really nice day so we'll hopefully not be too hungover tomorrow but you know um laurie bless him angel boy got me some flowers the other day and they have slowly died but i've kind of done a go like i've gone through them like done fresh water and just kept the ones which were still thriving but they're just such beautiful colors i just so obsessed with these they're so stunning so that was very lovely and yeah and yesterday i went for breakfast with india for a meeting with our lovely friend abby who is the pr girl for nas she gave us some really lovely bits we have some lip balms this is my absolute favorite this is the afterglow this is the afterglow lip balms and they have them in all different shades got some eyebrow pencils which was a saint 
And then, what else did I get? Oh, I got some concealer and I got a American Woman Little Matte Lipstick. So it's very lovely. I did a Topshop order, um, so I might go through that with you. And I did a little H&M shop the other day. I'm actually going to go and put on the other Olaplex in my hair because I think it's time now. So I thought I would kind of do a little bit of an update with everything. So yeah, so I ended up ordering the larger size. I Last time I had this with you, I think I had the tester size, which was like £20 for both of them. If you want to try the tester size, I, size, I will leave it um, down below. Um, but yeah, so I loved it so much. I just wanted to invest in my hair. So I ended up investing, getting the bigger bottles. So it cost me, I think, £60 for both the products, 60 or 70 But just keep an eye out on different, different shops always have different discounts and sales. So just keep an eye out for that. But yeah, so what I'm literally doing is just rinsing. Usually if you had the Olaplex on its own, the Olaplex free, you would just put it over rinsed hair. But because my hair was like rinsed, from the Olaplex Zero, it says just put it on just so it helps absorb. But I am so obsessed with this, it's so good. That's all done now, and I'm gonna go and catch up with oh my god, I have just been watching Emily in Paris, so good, you have to watch it, guys. I've just done my hair and makeup, I've been trying to curl it so it's like a really nice kink at the bottom. I've just got these clips on just to hold my hair back. I've done my makeup, but I haven't done my mascara yet because if you do follow me already, you know that I really suffer with my eyes really watering with mascaras. And I've tried like seven different brands and yeah, it's just my eyes. So I'm just going to hold on to it until, wait until um, my girls come and we're like nearly ready to leave and then I'm going to put it on. But my hair feels so soft and so lovely. I think I'm going to wear this little dress today with some big chunky boots and a blazer so it's like super cool um but yeah no i'm really excited for today it's gonna be so lovely Good morning guys and happy monday so i'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing with you i've got some top shop bits and some h&m bits so i thought i would do a little bit of an unboxing with you guys before i sign off so let's get into it so first up is from top shop so this is a gorgeous coat it comes off actually quite purple on camera but it is this really nice like wool twill color but when in real life it looks quite gray with touch of tonal of purple which i think is so lovely i got it in a size eight and i got it in the top shop sale but i just think that looks so flattering it looks really chic looks really luxurious the quality is beautiful and i just love these I love the details of the really sweet sweetheart kind of collars and the button details on the cuffs and down the body. Now this goes down to just above my just above my ankle, but I think this is so gorgeous. I wonder if I can put you somewhere. So I thought I'd show you in the mirror. Ignore the outfit that I am going for with this look. This is my outfit of the day. Um, but yeah, this is a really lovely coat. But yeah, it's such a beautiful coat. And it's coming up really purple in the camera. I don't know why. Um, but it's this really nice dark grey colour. And I absolutely love it. So like I said, I got it in a size 8. And I just think it's a little bit different to a grey coat. It's got a really nice colour to it. I don't know, literally, honestly, I promise you it's not this purple. So definitely go and check it out online in store or online if you'd like but it's so beautiful i'm so happy with it and it just looks so chic and i just love how thick the it's not too thick but it's got it holds a really lovely structure which i'm really happy with so next up i ordered three pairs of jeans because obviously we are going into the winter season so i needed to find some staple jeans this straight pair of top shop straight trousers this is waist 26 length 13 so yeah it's a really nice color and i'm not into my blues so i am trying to find a good pair i am trying to find a good staple pair so i'm going to try these ones on i actually really like the color like the fit of those next up i went for a black pair and it's the same design but it's got this really nice like black white 
wash on them i think that looks really cool and again a nice raw hem and again i got them in a size 26 to 30 so size 8 and then then i got this pair it's like a really nice dark blue although it's got buttons i don't know if i'm gonna like those um so i'll see but they're straight jeans again um and have more of a and have more of a finished finished hem ignore this nail i ripped it off on saturday and it was so painful oh my god and i can't look at it i hate it it looks awful but yeah so let's go and try those on i'm not going to do them all the way up because my nails i just can't the holes on the belt the buttons are so tight i've been able to literally just do the top one on um i don't know if i've grown look at my ankles they're so high up my ankle i don't know if that's supposed to be the style of them but yeah i'm not a fan of these don't like the buttons i think i would literally hold a wee in because i wouldn't be able to be bothered to do all the buttons up but i like the color of them i like them on my legs probably would go for a size sorry the sun is a nightmare so i probably go for a size length 32 actually i am i've grown i don't know why i'm a size eight five foot four um but yeah i like the color of them that's a bonus and i do like the leg on them um yeah the buttons are quite hard to get on um and i think they're a bit too short for me legs okay so next up is these pairs of this pair of jeans so yeah so this is the pair of black straight jeans really lovely i need to go up a length size to 32 um i don't know if they're like quite ankle bashy i'm not too sure but i really like the fit of them they look really lovely love the color of them i think that's really nice as well but i don't know if i've realized i'm a length 32 i'm taller than i think i am um but yeah really love these i think i'm just going to have to go and get a length 32 other than that i'm quite impressed with them i think they're really nice okay so next up are these jeans i love the color of them so much however i think still they're quite ankle bashers so i'm definitely gonna have to get the size um length 32 but they're such a lovely color i really like these ones um so yeah so i might order the 32 and get back to you guys with that but yeah the color of them is really nice the fit down the leg is really lovely as well i think i just need a 32 and then we're good to go okay so now we are on the h&m order i went into town the other day and did a little bit of an in-store shop which i haven't done in such a long time and it was really nice um only thing is you can't even like with coats you can't even try on those in front of like the store windows you can't try anything on so i've actually done well i'm really happy with it they I've, india and i pretty much got two outfits the same we came across this zip jumper which i think is so cute the quality is beautiful this is actually a small they only had smalls available and we both went for them and actually quite glad um i'm size a india's a six to an eight um but yeah i love it really lovely quality and also as well very versatile because you can wear it as a card open cardigan or as a jumper and the color is so sweet it's like a, oh, the color is so lovely it's like a really nice like oatmeal color and i just love the color on this so it's, i think this is so lovely so you can put this with a pair of jeans some trousers also like with a little skirt and tights or a maxi dress which look really lovely so such a versatile piece and you can also have like a black turtleneck or a white turtleneck underneath which will look really lovely as well so yeah this is the first one and i'm very happy with it okay so next up is this gorgeous cardigan i adore the color of this so much i think it's so lovely it's this really nice like green color but it's just so different and i think it's so lovely and again you can wear this like how i'm wearing it now with some jeans or you can put like a little turtleneck on i actually might put a body on because it is a tiny bit itchy and sometimes that makes me give like makes me a bit hot if you know what i mean but other than that it's gorgeous and i see this pair going really nicely like with a maxi dress as well i did get i got a matching beanie this is in collaboration from h&m and kangal um it is a i don't know how to explain it like maybe hiking i'm not too sure but if you know kangal you know kangal a brand kind of like north face pantagonia things like that if you know what i mean you know what i mean 
And um, anyway, so I got a matching beanie. I'm gonna try it on actually. Such little hair, but I think it actually looks really cute. But yeah, I think that looks really lovely actually. Even this cardigan would look really nice with like a shirt underneath it, like a white shirt going over the top. I might try that on for you guys now. But the beanie is super cute. I think it's really lovely and a really nice colour. I didn't think I would like this colour this much, but I think it's really flattering, like really nice with like olive skin colour. I'm quite I'm kind of like a fair skin. I'm a I'm kind of like a fair olive skin colour. Um and I've got green eyes, so I think this is like really my my colour, but I think it looks really sweet. Such a lovely colour. And again, in the summer, like autumn to summer, this cardigan would look so nice with like some white shorts. Oh, that would look really nice. So I'm gonna actually try this on with a shirt and just show you what it looks like. And here it is. This is with a little shirt underneath. This is just an old one from River Island, but I think the gold buttons look really lovely with the colour, excuse my squeaky floorboards. Um, but yeah, I think this looks really nice and you could pair it with some like black skinny jeans or if you've got some really nice like faux leather cream or green ones. I think that'll look really lovely as well but yeah this is really lovely and i think i'm going to be styling this up for tomorrow i am going on a little pumpkin patch photo shoot with india moon and chloe so yeah so that'll be really lovely um and i think these are such lovely colors yeah i really like the shirt with it i think that makes a bit of a difference and if i had like some skinny trousers on i think that'll look really nice as well i don't know if the quality of the white shirt underneath is too thin um to and it's lost its structure with the cardigan over the top um so i'm just going to play around with some different shirts but i just wanted to give you an idea of another way of styling it because i think it's super cute so yeah so that is an option as well okay okay so i generally think this is a statement piece to have in your wardrobe i do have one from zara but i fell in love with this one and i don't think there is any harm in having two similar ones because i wore it all the time and this is so lovely it's got such a lovely detail of like a of gingham it's see-through on the puffs and it's got this really Really, if you can see that it's got really nice layers I got this in a small I got this in a small and it is super cute I am so happy that I got this I think it's so lovely I think it's so flattering as well and it's such an easy piece to have in your wardrobe you could style this with jumpers blazers coats long boots trainers chunky doc martins some mules literally this is such a good statement dress to have in your wardrobe and you can wear it in to summer as well and put like a leather jacket or a denim jacket wear this with sandals i love these dresses so much and i think they're super flattering on any shape or size and i really like the details of it it's not my previous one which i still haven't wear insanely too much um is just very plain and very tiered and that's it and that's I do absolutely adore it. So it's quite nice that this one is a little bit different. It's got the really nice gingham going through it. And yeah, super comfortable and super flattering. And you can dress this up, dress it down. I think it's just such a good statement piece to have in your wardrobe. I just adore dresses like this so much. Last thing I got from H&M is this bomber jacket. I think it's so cool. I love the colour of it. It's coming up a bit more grey tone on here but it's a proper khaki silky cotton material. I got it in a medium and I don't know if it's a bit too big um, but I just wanted like a jacket which was quite flattering and like quite cool um, but super comfortable as well. It is so thick. It is so lovely. I probably actually should have gone for a small but it is really nice and it's just something to have which is such a good staple again in your wardrobe you can pair this with hoodies plain t-shirts some jeans tracksuit bottoms i think it's so lovely it's kind of like one of those essential run around jackets and the material is really lovely it's got the inner bit on the sleeves and around the neck so it's going to keep you super warm and like i said it's quilted on the inside this is lovely material i do really like it 
um, but I probably have to get a size small. I'm a size 8 by the way. So yeah guys, that is the end of this haul and at the end of this video I'm going to leave this video here. Everything featured in this video will be left down below. Hopefully all these products will be in stock. If not, I will still leave a link so then you can save it and be notified when it comes back into stock and if it isn't I will try and find some similars as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little, it's a bit of a random autumn haul but it's just things I saw in H&M and Topshop that I just thought were quite essential. I was on the hunt for a winter coat, needed some jeans and some knitwear so yeah I really am happy with the haul um, and let me know which was your favourite item but other than that thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day slash week slash night and yeah thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please like and subscribe it really supports my channel and i will catch you guys next week bye guys